Hello, hello, hello. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Hello, Lorena. How are you? More or less. <laughs> How was your day? Uh, uh, well, hmm, maybe tired because I go to Chalatenango and I am returning uh, late. Oh, really? How was the yeah. traffic? Uh, I have a, a special route. Ah, okay. <laughs> All right. For, how do you say atajo? <laughs> um, a car, a shortcut. Uh, a shortcut. Okay. Uh, uh, I avoid the traffic, but the street is uh, a little fresh, maybe, and dangerous. Oops. <laughs> well, <laughs> all right, okay, but the good thing is that you are safe and sound, so good for you. Yes. All right, well, welcome to the class, and thank you so much for being on time. <laughs> Let's see, I can see Edwin. Hello, Edwin, how are you? Hello, teacher. I'm fine, thank you. How was your day? Um, it was so excited because I am on vacation. You're on vacations already. Yes. Good for you. Very good. Thank how you. about how about you, Lorena? Are you on vacations already? Okay, pain is gone. Okay. Well, good for you. I mean that you are already on vacations. Uh, will you return until the 7th, I guess? Yes. Okay, very good. Nice, excellent. Okay, let's see who else is there. I can see Carlos. Hello, Carlos, how are you? I'm fine. Mm -hmm. uh, some acalorado. Hot, like hot weather. What? Hot. Hot. Yeah. Okay. Really? Is it isn't um raining there in your city? Mm, no, my house is not raining. Really? Okay. <laughs> well. Yet. Not yet. <laughs> not yet. The weather <laughs> forecast said that it will be raining during the whole weekend. So, well, in my city, it rained since yesterday. It was raining a lot, but. I hope that maybe today is going to rain, Carlos. <laughs> Yesterday, uh, I was surprising. Surprise? Uh, surprise in San Miguelito. Oh, with the um, disaster. Kind of, disaster. But I, I didn't understand. Hurricane. So, yeah, some people talk about a hurricane. Wow, that's new in our yeah. country. I mean, so... It's they send me a movie. <laughs> it is, yeah. So guys, when the weather got <laughs> crazy like that, please stay at home. Don't go out unless it's totally necessary, right? Because as you see, it's very dangerous, right? So let's try to avoid accidents. Okay, everybody, welcome to the class. Thank you so much for being on time. I know that this is an extraordinary schedule. Okay, but let's imagine that it's like our Friday, okay? Let's imagine that it's our Friday and that we need to continue practicing. Remember on Monday, Monday is our last uh, class. And basically on Monday, we are going to be uh, finishing this level, okay? So we are going to start it. Uh, let me start sharing the presentation. Can you see the presentation, everybody? Yes, teacher. Yes? Yes. Excellent. Okay, so today is July 29th. Uh, do you remember the topics that we started yesterday? Uh -huh. Yesterday we saw the adjective. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, the adjective uh, go after the noun. Yes. 
the I've other heard before. 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 In other go uh, after. After the, the verb. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. We saw two. Yes. Yes. Very good, very good. Thank you. Both the way you cook, neighbor. Yes. So now you have a clearer idea how to use adjectives and adverbs. Remember, the adjectives describes noun. For example, yesterday you were describing your neighbor, you were describing a, your best friend, your boss. You were describing nouns. Okay, and the adverb is describing actions. For example, how do you cook? How do you drive a car? How do you speak English? So there you are describing actions. That's the difference between adjectives and adverbs. Is it clear, that topic? Yes? Yes. Excellent. Okay, well, today the topic is a little bit different. We are always in the week number five. And now we are going to learn how to use suffixes. Okay, what is a suffix? Have you ever heard about that word? A suffix? Good night, teacher. I never hear that word. You never heard that word? Okay, for example, guys, suffixes are those letters that we can add to some words. For example, if I say slow, that's the adjective. If I add slowly, it becomes into an adverb. So the L-Y, those letters are suffix. Okay, so the parts that you add, those are suffixes. So that is what we are going to learn today, okay? So this is the class objective. I need a volunteer for reading, please. Volunteer for reading? Me too. Me too. Yes, go ahead. Participants will be able to use suffixes to make a verb into a noun. Thank you. So today we are not going to use adjectives. We are not going to talk about adverbs. No, we are going to talk about verbs. We are going to transform verbs into a noun. Okay? For example, imagine if I say the verb, let's see, drive. Drive is a verb, yes or no? Hmm? Yes. It's a verb. Now, I want to transform the verb drive into a noun. What is the name of the person who drives a car? Driver? Correct. So we say driver. And driver is the noun. What is the difference? I just added the letter R. The letter R is the suffix. Okay, so that is what we are going to learn today. Okay? But we are going to see some rules. We are going to see some exceptions and the most common suffixes. Okay, but before that, let's review a little bit what we were discussing yesterday. Yesterday we talked about being a manager. Do you remember this topic? Uh-huh. Yes, a little bit. A little bit. <laughs> okay. Yesterday I asked you something. Would you like to be a manager? So some of you said yes, some of you say no. Some of you said that 
the manager has a lot of work, a lot of responsibilities. Something positive is the salary, but it's a difficult job, right? And as a manager, you have to evaluate the performance of your employees. And we were discussing these scenarios. If you remember, we had different employees here. And we were talking about his job. Some of them mm, had like a poor performance. What is the meaning of poor performance? What do you think? Good. Bad performance. Yes. So poor is like bad, negative, okay? Is a person that is irresponsible. It's a person who doesn't do the job correctly. Okay? Then we have good. What, is, what do you think? What is good? Good performance. It's a person that arrives early is a person who does the job right is responsible and then we have satisfactory remember that when we say satisfactory is like not so good but it's not bad okay it's like neutral but if it is satisfactory means that you need to improve, okay? Satisfactory is like to say regular, okay? And then we have excellent, okay? So we are going to practice a little bit about it, describing performance. You have to imagine that you are the managers and that you are going to evaluate your employees. But before that, I'm going to check attendance. When you listen to your names, please stay present. Um, can everybody listen to me very well? Yes? Everybody, do you listen to me perfectly? Yes. Yes? Yes. yes. Thank yes. you. Yes. Okay, Ana Lorena. Present teacher. Thank you. Boris Alexander. Present teacher. Thank you. Carlos Alberto. Okay, Carlos Ernesto. Present teacher. Thank you. Edwin Antonio. Present teacher. Thank you. Elias Neftali. Present teacher. Very good. Eulice Torres. Okay. Jose Salvador. Present teacher. Very good. Josman Atilio. Present teacher. Thank you. Kevin Alfredo. Kevin Alfredo, okay. Nelson Alberto. Nelson Alberto. Osman Enrique. Osman, okay. Rafael Alexander. Present teacher. Okay. Pamela Carolina. Pamela Carolina. Okay. Um, Santiago Roberto. Santiago Roberto. Wilber Alberto. Wilber. Oh, there you are. Okay, perfect. Okay, let's continue then. So, uh, can you see the presentation again, everyone? Yes? Yes, teacher. Excellent. Yes, teacher. Okay. Now, I have here, guys, an audio. We are going to practice a listening. You are going to listen to a manager evaluating the performance of one of his employees. The name of the employee is Sandra. Okay? She is a customer service agent. So the manager is going to explain 
um, or evaluate her performance. Pay attention because you have to listen to the feedback. Pay attention the phrases that this person use, pay attention about it, the feedback and the evaluation that he gives her, okay? I'm going to play the audio. If you cannot listen to the audio, please let me know. Uh, listen carefully and answer the questions, okay? Here we go. Hello, Sandra. Please have a seat. How are you today? To be honest, a little nervous. That's normal. Everybody here is a little nervous before their review. So, Sandra, you've been with us for five years now, and we really appreciate your work. You have good relationships with our customers and with your colleagues here in the office. Thank you. Overall, your performance this year has been satisfactory, and I am pleased about that. In fact, some areas of your performance are excellent. but there are some areas that could be improved. Satisfactory? <laughs> well, all the customer surveys show that the customers are very happy with my service. Yes, that's true. Our customers are very happy with the service you are giving them. The only problem is with the efficiency of your work. This year, you're spending more time on the phone with individual customers. Last year, you were handling around 11 calls per hour but this year it's around seven calls. Because of that, we've had to hire more workers to answer all the extra calls we are getting. I understand, but my job is to keep customers happy, and they are happy. Yes, I understand what you are saying, but as a manager, I have to think about costs. And this year, we are spending around 30% more on customer service. So, you should try to improve the number of calls that you are able to handle. This is the only thing you need to work on. Like I said, when it comes to keeping our customers happy, your work is excellent. So, if you like, I'd be happy to sit down with you and discuss how you can improve efficiency and continue to deliver excellent customer service at the same time. Okay, that sounds fair. Will I get a salary increase this time? Yes, we are going to increase your salary by 7%. To be honest, I expected a little more, but... Sandra, I think you have a lot of potential. If we can find a way to increase the number of your calls and keep the same level of quality, we'll be able to offer you more next time. Okay, that sounds fair. I think. Thank you, Sandra. So, let's arrange a meeting to discuss the situation further. Okay, everybody, could you listen to the audio? Yes? Did you listen to the audio, everyone? Yes, teacher, but and, uh, again, please. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no worries. I'm going to play the audio again. Please try to answer all of the questions, and then we are going to see if your answers are correct or not. Here we go again. Pay attention, please. Keep the microphones off. Let's go. Hello, Sandra. Please have a seat. How are you today? To be honest, a little nervous. That's normal. Everybody here is a little nervous before their review. So, Sandra, you've been with us for five years now, and we really appreciate your work. You have good relationships with our customers and with your colleagues here in the office. Thank you. Overall, your performance this year has been satisfactory, and I am pleased about that. In fact, some areas of your performance are excellent, but there are some areas that could be improved. Satisfactory? <laughs> well, all the customer surveys show that the customers are very happy with my service. Yes, that's true. Our customers are very happy with the service you are giving them. The only problem is with the efficiency of your work. This year, you're spending more time on the phone with individual customers. Last year, you were handling around 11 calls per hour, but this year, it's around 7 calls. Because of that, we've had to hire more workers to answer all the extra calls we are getting. I understand, but my job is to keep customers happy, and they are happy. Yes, I understand what you are saying, but as a manager, I have to think about costs. 
and this year we are spending around 30% more on customer service. So, you should try to improve the number of calls that you are able to handle. This is the only thing you need to work on. Like I said, when it comes to keeping our customers happy, your work is excellent. So, if you like, I'd be happy to sit down with you and discuss how you can improve efficiency and continue to deliver excellent customer service at the same time. Okay, that sounds fair. Will I get a salary increase this time? Yes, we are going to increase your salary by 7%. To be honest, I expected a little more, but... Sandra, I think you have a lot of potential. If we can find a way to increase the number of your calls and keep the same level of quality, we'll be able to offer you more next time. Okay, that sounds fair. I think. Thank you, Sandra. So, let's arrange a meeting to discuss the situation further. All right, do you have the answers, everybody? Yeah, we are sad. <laughs> Why? For Sandra. For Sandra. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. So everyone, in the question number one, how does Sandra's manager feel about her performance? Is poor, satisfactory, or excellent? Letter B, satisfactory. I agree. Do you agree? Satisfactory? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Do you agree with the manager? <laughs> Do you think that Sandra's mm -hmm. performance is satisfactory? Not really. Why? Because uh, the happiness of the, of the client is very important for... For the business. <laughs> Will you give her more increase, the increase of the, his salary? Yeah, maybe a 15%. Okay, sounds good. <laughs> All right. Now, uh, well, yeah, right. The manager said that the performance was satisfactory because there was an area that she needs to work on. It, it means that improve a little bit. Which is the area? Quality of work, efficiency, or building relationships? Uh -huh. What is the area that she needs to improve? Letter B, teacher, efficiency. How do you say? Letter efficiency. B? Efficiency, okay. Do you agree, everyone? Efficiency? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, actually, yes. It was efficiency, but why? Why does she need to work on efficiency? Why do you? Be because um, the numbers, the number of the call, the calls, uh, that Sandra. Handling uh, the discrete discrete in the the decrease decrease ex exactly um, the uh, last year was eleven and this year was seven. Mm, are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> Do you agree, guys? And and that is the next question. How many calls yeah. was Sandra handling last year? Letter C. Letter C, 11. But what happens this year? How many calls is she handling? Seven. <laughs> <laughs> All right, exactly, right? Seven calls. So basically, the number of calls is decreasing. It's That's crazy. why she needs to continue working on efficiency. Okay, uh, because of the decrease of phone calls that she is taking, what is the increase in customer service cost? 30%. How much, Carlos? Letter C. Letter C, 30%. That's correct. Now, 
if she improves writing, uh, well, in this moment, because of her performance, how much is the increase or the increments that she's going to have in her salary? Uh -huh. Letter A, 7%. <laughs> Just 7%. Only the 7%. So what do you think, guys? Is that fair? It's the correct increase that she should have? Or does she need more? What do you think? Think about you as a manager. Will you give her more or not? What do you think? In my point of view, yeah, she deserves more because I want more responsibility, more efficiency, uh, the, 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 the part. This part. From his part. From her. Oh, from her. Mm -hmm. From her. And, and she deserve, deserves an increase of her salary. Yes, definitely. So in this case, remember guys, you need to think you as managers. So if you paid attention, did he said only the negative things or he said positive things too. Mm -hmm. He said he said the, the positive uh, things about her, like the good relationship with her with partners, um, the happiness of the clients, and. To remember another. Well, actually, he mentioned her performance was pretty good, yeah. right? So yeah. he was describing positive aspects, but then he mentioned the areas that she needs to improve, of course. Now, that is what we are going to have. We are going to have a role play right now, okay? Again, I want you guys to imagine that you are the manager. Okay, we are going to work in teams. So first of all, one of you is going to be the student A. The student A, imagine that you are the manager and you are happy with your employees work. Okay, it means that the employee is working pretty good, right? But hmm, the only problem is the punctuality. That means that this person is always late, okay? So give the feedback to your classmate, tell them positive aspects, but tell them the area that this person needs to improve, okay? Student B, imagine that you are the employee, okay? You need to answer to your manager's feedback. I mean, you need to think something like, uh, what are you going to do? Are you going to improve or not? Okay? And then switch the roles. You can try to use the expressions that we have learned this lesson. For example, you can use the word excellent, poor, satisfactory, salary increase, okay? Is it clear the first role play? Yeah, teacher. Yes? Okay, then you can switch. The student B now is going to be the student A. That means that you will be the manager. And now in the second scenario, guys, look. Imagine that you are happy with your employee's sales. That means that this employee is selling a lot. And that's something good. But there is something negative because this employee 
has a problem with the attitude. Yeah. Okay? Because you are not happy with the attitude that this person has with the co-workers. Okay? Maybe they are not having a good relationship. Okay? So you have to tell them. Okay? Hey, you have good performance with your sales. You are excellent. But I can see that you have issues with your relationship with your co-workers. Okay? So explain the feedback and tell them that this person needs to improve. Student B, you are the employee. And again, you need to answer to your manager's feedback. You have to tell them what is happening. You have to tell them if you will improve or not, okay? So those are the role plays. The idea, guys, imagine that you are a real uh, manager. So you have to be able to evaluate the performance of this person. And of course, don't forget that when you give the feedback, you need to sound very polite. Got it? Is it clear, everyone? The role plays? Yep. Yes, teacher. Good. Now let's see. Um, I can see some of your classmates are listeners, but some others are ready to participate. We are going to have a couple of minutes for this role play and let's go to the breakup rooms. And later I will ask the employees if your manager will give you more salary or not. Okay. So let me open up the groups. I already sent on WhatsApp's group the descriptions. Okay, I already sent the instructions. Let's see, let's see. If you are in a group where nobody is talking, please let me know and I can switch you to another team. Give me a second. Okay, let's go to work, everybody. We have only five minutes for this role plays. Okay, let's go. Hi, guys. Hello. Hello, Elias. Hello, Charlie. Hello, Elias. Hello. Good night, guys. Well, who is the student A? Okay, uh, the first S in that. Yeah. Um, maybe. Uh, will be student A. Me? Uh, hello, Elisa. Mm. Okay, student A. Thanks, teacher. Sorry. Okay, thank you. Hi. Uh, yeah. Who is first? Me, uh, our me, uh, our student A. Okay, I am student B. Okay, I don't see you. Sorry, uh, you are Carlos, right? Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, Elia, no. Yeah, correct. Okay. And uh, three, two, one, go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and... <clears throat> What is what what is the term? Uh, the, uh, uh, the, 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 um, no, it's about uh, <laughs> your punctuality. 
Um, uh, yeah, 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 yes. And say maybe good night, Carlos. Um, uh, it's me, Elias. Uh, I call you because I want to talk about uh, one thing with you. It's okay. a little thing. Good night, um, Elias. Um, well, you know, Carlos, that for me, you are an excellent employer. Um, you are carefully, you are responsibility, uh, you um, are a great co-worker, um, you are one of, of my best employees, um, but something, mm, yeah. something in you, uh, I believe that uh, you work on, um, that point is your punctuality. Because, um, for example, Monday. You mean that. <laughs> for, ex for example, uh, <laughs> Monday. All the Monday. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. You are late for work. Um, um, the problem. The pro. The problem, Carlos. Not the, not the, the not, you are not five minutes late or 15 minutes late. You are one hour late. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, uh, it's correct. Uh, this day I arrive later. But, uh, the rough and my, uh, uh, there was a crash, two cars, uh, the, oh, really? uh, and then uh, the traffic, it was just heavy traffic. Yeah. The reason, can... the reason I, I related my, my work. I can understand that happens all the time, but all the Monday, Carlos? Really? <laughs> uh, yes, I I have a, I have a problem. Is uh, I care for my mother, so mm. uh, I I give I give her the medicine at uh, seven a.m. Mm -hmm. uh, for the reason uh... last week because uh, I know boy is very important for you is your punctuality in your uh, own on the company in the morning uh, what is your problem uh, Boris uh, to arrive at the company and punctually every day in the last week mm -hmm. Uh, I, 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 the problem in the, the, go out at home, I, I problem in the, in the, in the road for, because in, in, in road is a, a road. Uh, 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 how do you say? Rocket. 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 Thank you. Okay. What is a rocket? Is 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 the? I have a other a other a other rotor is a uh, more time. Okay. Okay, but it's, I enter the I I extend your information. Because uh, it's necessary your report 
uh, with your uh, a problem the, in the traffic uh, and, and more punctually in the company, right? Because your other core uh, health do you the last how uh, more time and order uh, punctually at the work, right? Because uh, oh. your work is very important. Uh, very uh, is important your punctually in the work, right? Because information right. why uh, because information uh, uh, another activity, right? Or um, presentation of uh, punctually for the information. This is the, this moment, Boris. Okay. 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 Thank you. Okay, Boris. Thank I you. Am. Um. Okay. Perfect. Uh, maybe uh, practice with the second history. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay. Your manager and the employee. Uh, maybe I manager, I am manager, and, and you employee, Osman. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Action. <laughs> Action. One, two. <laughs> Hello, Osman. <laughs> what do you do? Hi, Lauren. Great, great. Okay, perfect. Um, this day I want to give a uh, feedback about your job. I am really uh, appreciate your job because you are an excellent vendor and congrats for this. Thank you, thank you. But uh, maybe I ask for uh, I need that you improve in one point that I see uh, with your co-workers. Uh, your attitude with uh, your co-workers uh, need improve because uh, uh, need improve the environment in your job because you need feel happy with the uh, other co-workers and the old people in the company are important and really need that you can uh, um, change your attitude because okay. uh, I need that all uh, teacher, how do you say? Tratar. Deal. Deal. Mm -hmm. Or you can say treat. 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 Uh -huh. Okay, perfect. I need that uh, all the people in the company treat with respect with other. And maybe it's a little uh, opportunity for all that need improve because it's important the environment in a good environment in the job. Okay. Thank you for your observation. I did you finish? Is anyone here? Hello. Hello, teacher. Okay, did your classmate participate? We better have to go out right now. Oh, okay. Well, let's go back to the main room, okay? Let's go back. Time's up, everyone. Let's go back to the main room. Okay, let's see interesting role plays, the ones that I was listening to. Okay, so let's see. Did your classmates um, give positive feedbacks? Or only negative feedbacks? 
Did you have a good manager or angry manager? Angry manager. Yes, he's an evil manager. Oh my goodness, really? Guys. <laughs> okay, did your manager give you only the positive feedbacks or only the negatives or both? Only the negative. No way, really. Oh. oh. <laughs> um, and he enjoyed being a bad person. <laughs> Guys, don't be bad managers. Okay, will your manager give you a, a salary increase? No, he said that decrease my salary for, me. No. <laughs> for my no. hour I save you, I save you. <laughs> oh my goodness, Carlos. I can see that you are a very angry manager. No. The leadership, uh, they they want. <laughs> ah, okay, all right. Now, if you see, guys, this is the way that we can give feedbacks. Okay, remember the feedback is like um, I don't know how to say it. It's like a sandwich, right? You need bread, that is the positive feedback. Then you need the negatives, the areas that you need to improve. And then close the conversation with another positive feedback, right? And of course, if you can, you can give a salary increase. Very good. Is it difficult to be a manager and give uh, this kind of feedbacks? What do you think? Yeah, that's correct. It's difficult because um, maybe you try and to be happy all, but it's not possible. Always have difference between department, between person, um, it's, it's, it's normal. It is. There are different aspects that we always need to consider, right? It's not so easy. But interesting conversations. I like the excuses that some of your classmates invented that they always arrive late. Do you arrive late to your job, everyone? Or are you always on time? Um, at my, <laughs> on my office, always arrive earlier. Ah, okay. You deserve a salary increase. Uh -huh, Lorena? I am always a fire late. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. And why is it? Is it because of the traffic or? Yes, it's for the traffic. Uh, Los Chorros. Yeah. Uh, it's complicated. The uh, bus shame me, the shame the schedule. Oh, really? Uh, yes, shame the hour for entry. Oh, oh my gosh. Yes. Did you receive a feedback from your manager because of that? Yes. <laughs> uh, um, how do you say bias? A lot. A lot of times. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, I hope that they can fix. They said that they will have like a another street in Los Chorros, right? It's supposed that that is going to help. Uh, the problem uh, is that in the morning, all the uh, street around the uh, San, San, Santa Tecla, Monseñor, Boulevard Sur, uh, all the the street are very uh, congestionary. Congestionary. Uh -huh. Yes, it's hard the traffic. I imagine, and that is every single day, right? I mean, yes. Oh, yeah, that's awful. Well, I know that feeling. <laughs> I live in some time. <laughs> oh my goodness. So yeah, it's hard. It's hard. Now, look at this one. Very good with the conversations. I like the way that you perform the manager and as employees. Now, little details that we always need to consider, everyone. For example, if I say good night and good evening, what is the difference between good night and good evening? Good night. 
is similar a goodbye. Uh -huh. Okay, good night is when you want to say like goodbye. Yeah. Bye. And good evening. Good evening when I, for example, um, I arrive in the place. Yeah, there aren't the, the other person. So basically it's like to say hello. Hello, yeah. And yes, that's the difference, everyone. So imagine that we have a meeting at night, right? And you enter to the room. What is the first things that you will say? Will you say, hey, good night, everyone, or good evening, everyone? Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, exactly. When we have our English class, what is the first thing that I have to say? I will say, hey, good night, everybody. Welcome to the class. Or good evening, everybody. Welcome to the class. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Yes, because that means hello. Now, when I go to sleep, when the class is over, if you want to say goodbye, you have to say? Good night. Good night. night. Exactly. So that is the difference, okay? Be careful with those expressions. Another difference is employee and employer. What is the difference between employee and employer? Uh -huh. Employer is a boss. Okay. Uh, employee is a subaltern. Exactly. That's the difference. Employer is the boss, is the person who gives the job. Employee is the person who gets the job. Okay. So imagine the boss and the ones who does the job. So if I'm talking, if you are the manager, you will talk to your employee. You have to say, hey, you are a good employee, but you need to improve in your punctuality, okay? Mm -hmm. So be careful with the pronunciation, employee, okay? Employee, that's the pronunciation. Now look at the next sentence. I careful my mother. Hmm. Is this sentence correct? I careful my mother. Yes? No. What is the correct one? Because I have the subject and I have the complement, but I don't have the verb. So in this case, guys, this is... I take... Take care. Yeah. I take care. Exactly. Of that is mom. the one. I take care of my, my mom. My, my mom. mother. Okay. Don't forget that a sentence always needs subject, verb, complement. Now the next one. You need feel happy. You need to feel happy. Ah, very good. You need to. Feel happy, okay? You need to feel happy. Don't forget that we need to separate the verbs, okay? We cannot put two verbs together, okay? Now, because the idea is that you need to talk a lot, let's continue, <clears throat> sorry, with the speaking activities. How well do you do your job? Let's find out if you are a good employee or not. Let's find out if you are excellent, satisfactory, or if there are some areas that we need to improve, okay? We are going to practice these questions with your classmates. For example, what do you do well in your job? Well is an adjective or is that an adverb? My punctuality, for example. Okay, so your punctuality is something good. Excellent. And you guys, what is something that you do well in your job? 
Responsibility. Very good. Your responsibility. Mm -hmm. Punctuality. What else? Efficiency. Efficiency. Okay. Any other idea? Well, think about it because you are going to discuss these questions with your classmates. So another interesting question is the number four. What do you think you will be doing five years from now? So imagine guys, in five years, will you be working in the same company or do you think that you are going to be in another company? Will you be in the same position or do you think that you will grow and go to another position? That's the question, okay? Imagine. And the last question means, are you developing in your job? When we're talking about developing, it means if you are developing or if you are improving some areas, are you getting knowledge? For example, if in your job you are learning to use Excel, for example, that means that you are developing. You are developing knowledge. Now you learned how to use Excel. Or imagine if you say, well, in my job, I speak English. <laughs> so now you are developing that skills now that you are learning English. Are you developing in your job? Are you growing? Yes or no? Okay. So we are going to practice these questions. Is it clear the vocabulary, everybody? All the questions are clear? Or is that a word that you don't understand? No, it's no? clear. Perfect. Okay. Again, I'm going to send the questions on WhatsApp groups. And let's go to the breakup rooms again and practice. I want you guys to talk. I don't want you to get sleepy. So we are going to continue practicing the full class. Okay. I'm sending the questions. Let me open up the breakup rooms. If you are in a room, guys, where nobody's talking, please let me know. I know that some of you are listeners. So if you are in a group where nobody's talking, let me know so I can switch you to another group. Okay. Let's see, let's see. Okay, everybody, let's go to work. Enter, please. Enter to the breakup rooms. Hello, what is Hello, Rafael. Hello, hello. Okay, guys, are you there? Boris? Okay. Rafael? I don't know if you are there. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Hello? Okay, hello. we got Boris here. Okay, hello. thank you. You're going to start, guys. Okay. <laughs> Hi, Carlo. Uh, Hi, Boris. The, what do you... Uh, the first question. The first question? Okay, okay the first question. Uh, what do you do well in your job? Is uh, punctuality. Okay. In my job, is the punctuality. Um, I... Efficient in in the the report. I I have a a, a I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, what else? Uh, 
punctuality, efficiency. Efficient, efficient, efficient. Yes, I, I have a chance in the in the efficient, efficiency in the the. Ah, uh, sorry. Uh, efficient in the uh, maybe collocate collocate the 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 the, the push the push push order. Push. I push. don't understand push, push, or purchase. Push, push, or look at it. Put, put the push. Ah, okay. Uh, push order is uh -huh. the order the compra. Yeah, I put, understand you. Put push order. Yes, okay. yes. Uh, the classification, the product. Yes, yes. Okay. Um, uh, efficient in this. How do you say <laughs> seguimiento? Say, uh, um, fo follow, follow the invent inventory, the materials. Follow, follow the follow up the the inventory materials. Material ah, okay. Uh -huh. Inventory. Inventory. Yes. Um, okay. Is uh, you you yeah. are excellent. <laughs> <Bro. laughs> okay. okay. In my case, uh, I I believe uh, punctuality. Efficiency, okay. efficiency because um, I think I resolve the problems in my job. Um, uh, maybe uh, when I I the presentation uh, the clean or. Uh, or to order in the presentation. Okay. Maybe, uh, for example, the share out. It's no, it's not, no, no, whether the share uh, or what else? Work loud? Work loud, yeah. Um, my no, I I need more knowledge about uh law. Works law and just just that um my efficiency and the knowledge. How about you guys? So in my case, uh could be uh, improve my English uh, because uh, with that I can give a better customer service to the client. Great. And, and you, Nelson? Nelson? For me, uh, um, well, uh, improve my English, yeah, absolutely. But I need to improve my, I don't know, response times because uh, it's complicated for me because it's a new, new job. And I know I I knowing all right now, and for this reason, the times is not better. I don't know. Yeah, the it, times it, it, are good, but I I I think that 
Mm, I could improve these times. Okay, great. Um, the next question. I'm sorry. It's here. Um, what training do you need? Well, um, in some areas specific, maybe, um, I need a training in program about financing, uh, like Excel and maybe Power BA. Because I need uh, to show, no, present, I, I need to present the cost of our project to, to the bus. Uh, so I need to present the information and uh, in the form in the in the best form and um, clearly um specific and um, well i i trying to to see tutorial tutorials in, in youtube and yeah it's great i learned so much this year this year but i need more and more and and you guys so in my case i think mm, the training i need is in information technology and uh, because this improve uh, mm, efficient efficiency in my work i think that Personally, I I need uh, courses. Uh, I need to do a lot of courses about uh, making worker work plans. Uh, courses about uh, security for the for. Mm, I know it's correct for the play better in my job. Uh, in this moment, a uh, new for the, the silence. It's important, for example, I view I view the video in YouTube the the intelligent artificial is in in, in company. Mm, the time is very, very interesting. The mm -hmm. the new for the salad, and uh, and uh, for me, and uh, I need the training in this in this time. Okay. And you, Lorena. In my case, maybe it's more for the uh, training of uh, um, uh, skills of administration. Maybe I need a uh, recite a training about emotional intelligence, intelligence. Be because in my job uh, have conflicts um frequently and is necessary uh, know the way that uh, um, I don't know how do you say manejar this situation handle handle this this situation okay and you will well well uh, uh just like uh, I work in a security company and the products uh, usually or uh, well, usually have improving their software. Sometimes we need to improve it, uh, update uh, 
we need to know the update they have. So we need sometimes a uh, training in the software to know what's new it has. But in general, mm, I think it's okay. Just only that software because all they are uh, updates uh, about the software, no? So we need to, to know what's new uh, not just for for us, it's not just for uh, the customers. When we have to install the the software on the computer on their computer, but it's not nothing complicated. So uh, sometimes we don't know what happens with the manufacturer when they are uh, updating their software, and we have some trouble in the installation and we and we have sometimes don't know what is happening and we eh, quedamos mal sometimes but it's not nothing complicated so it's it's just for that okay yes yeah yes they, they usually prove their skill in the software so we need to, to know what is happening with their software and have uh, some information to to know what is happening and explaining because the customers what's the new with the with the product with the software no i believe that the main problem with uh, people uh, that work with technology that is need to improve constantly because uh, the technology change, change frequently. Yes, yes, and that's right. It's very necessary, the training constantly. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. All right, time's up. Let's wait for everyone. Time's up, time's up. Okay, time's up, time's up. All right, time's up. Let's go back to the main room. Could you answer all of the questions, everyone? Or, no. or not? No. Okay, did your classmate give details? Yes? Yes, teacher. We try it. Excellent. That's the idea. English or Spanish? Full English. 90% English. 90% English. <laughs> ah, and what happens? Still some words in Spanish. Okay. But I need I need a I need a better. <laughs> we are working on that. We are working, okay? But look, something that I like is that you are giving details. That's excellent. Very good job. So let's see. I'm going to interview you. Let me pick someone. Let me start with Edwin. Hello, Edwin. Edwin, are you there? Okay, let me pick someone else. Elias. Hello, Elias. Yes, okay. teacher. Okay, Elias, tell me. Question number two. What could you do better in your job? Okay. Um, maybe I can work on my efficiency and efficiency? my knowledge about worker work works law ladies de trabajo uh, how do you say? yeah the workload works law um that's all mm, okay sounds good interesting elias pick one of your classmates please mm, my my bad boss carlos <laughs> oh my goodness carlos Carlos, tell me, um, question number three, 
What training do you need in your job? Uh, yes, I need, I would like the <laughs> <laughs> training, for example, um, in something, the area, technician areas, uh, maybe more English. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, but you are working on it. Very good, very good. Pick someone, please. Um, maybe Osman. Okay, Osman. Oh, Osman. 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 Thank Osman. You. Osman. Yes. Okay, Osman. What do you think you will be doing in five years? How do you see yourself? Okay, teacher, I will be in, in my job in order activity and re release the, the different job because in this moment I, I learned English, for example, and later a student MBA because while advanced the, the learning is necessary and actually in in the information and process and um, different situation in the job is necessary actualization actuality um, okay. and will in from uh, five years in order activity and order responsible. Very good. So basically this in the same position. company but in another position with more yeah. activity, yeah. more job. Sounds good. Yeah. Okay, I like that, Cosma. Very good. Take one of your classmates, yeah. please. Okay. Um, Boris Alexander. Okay, Boris. Are you developing in your job, Boris? Mm. Repeat, please. I'm sorry. Are you developing in your job? Uh, for uh, for moment, for moment, no. Uh, is uh, is the in my job? Uh, no, I I think I think uh, learn the 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 the, the English for for the the other the other company. Mm -hmm, okay. Uh, I uh, for moment in in my company I I I stop the developing the the draw or the, or the draw. Okay. The All right. Very good. Thank you guys for practicing speaking. That's the idea that you speak and give details and you are giving a lot of details when you were in the breakup rooms. So excellent job. Now let's stop thinking about the managers. Now let's continue with the topic for today. We already practiced speaking. So let's practice a little bit grammar. And we are going to study about how to use suffixes. Okay, can you see the presentation, everybody? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Excellent. Okay, so we are going to see some examples of some verbs that transform into an, a, in this case, a noun. So we are going to read this conversation between Steve and Anna. Okay, they are trying to find out the location of two products that they receive in their warehouse, but so, something is happening here. So I will need some volunteers for reading. Who wants to read? Me, teacher. Thank Me, you. teacher. Thank you. Okay, Elias, you will be Steve. Anna, you will be Anna. Okay, <laughs> go ahead. It say here in the inventory that we have 200 wooden planks, but I can't find them anywhere. Do you have any idea where I could find them? 200 wooden planks. I remember we got an order from a manufacturer. Let me see if I can find any record here. 
The order was from the people who manufacture the tables. By the way, the manager is also asking for a crate of electronic devices delivered from China a week ago, but I can't find them either. I see the problem. The 200 wooden boards were recorded as 20 wooden planks and it seemed the crate was placed in the wrong dock. Thank you, oh very good. Okay, let's see if you paid attention to the reading, everybody. So the first question says, what items is Steve looking for? Mm -hmm. What do you think? The 200 wooden planks. Wooden planks. And do you know the meaning for wooden planks, everyone? Do you know what is that? Como placa de madera? Yes, basically that. So, next. Um, who placed an order for wooden boards? What do you think? In a wrong dock. Where is it? In a wrong dock, but I don't know. Uh, how do you say wrong dock? <laughs> Well, that is the one, wrong dog. Very good. So look at this one. In this conversation, everybody, we have some words. Manufacturer, manufacturer, manager. So what is the difference between manufacturer and manufacturer? What is the difference? What do you think? Manufacturer maybe is the person. Uh -huh, okay. A manufacturer? Manufacturer is the action. Okay. Now, if I have manager, manager is a noun or is that a verb? It's a noun. It's a noun. So which one is the verb? Management. Manage. Only manage. Okay, so that is exactly what we are going to learn. How can we have the verb and then the noun? And that's why we are going to practice with the suffixes. Now, we are going to make a noun from a verb, okay? If you see the box over here, I have different verbs. Go, paint, manage, teach, all of these ones are verbs. If I want to transform the verb into a noun, the only things that I need to do is add a suffix. The suffix that I can add is er or only the letter r. For example, imagine that I have the word Manage. Manage is the verb. If I want the noun, what do you think? Do I need to add ER or only the R? Only the R. Why? Because the last word is E. Exactly. In this case, the word is ending in the letter E. It's not necessary to add another E. So in this case, the noun is manager, okay? Another example, um, I have, well, this one is very common, teach. Teach is the verb. Which one is the noun? <laughs> teacher. Very good, teacher, okay? Um, I have attack. Attack is the verb. Who is the person that does the action? Um, maybe attacker. Exactly. Attacker. So look, 
We are taking the verbs and we are transforming the verbs into nouns. Um, smoke is the action. What is the name of the person who smokes? The smoker? Yes, look, smoker. So, these guys are not the only suffixes. We have a lot of suffixes, but this is one of the most common. So if you want to transform a verb into a noun, what are the suffixes that we can add? ER or R. So let's see, golf. What is the noun? Here. We are going to say golfer. Paint. Painter. Yes. Drive. Driver. Driver. Yes. Um, explore is the verb. What is the noun? Explorer. 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 Own. Owner. Owner. That's the one. Exactly. So this is the way that we can create nouns. It's very simple. Got it? Yes? Yes, teacher. Okay, let's have a practice. I have some sentences here. Let's complete the sentences with the correct noun. For example, I work in a bakery and I bake bread. So that means that I am a baker. Baker is the noun, is the person who does the action. Next one, in the number two, Sam really wants to be a, what do you think? Teacher. A teacher, do you agree everyone? I agree. Look, a teacher, when he grows up, he likes to teach people. Okay, number three, volunteer for reading. Number three, please. Um, number three, I'm Nora Great. Um, a golfer. golfer, yes. What is the meaning of golfer? Golfer is a person who plays golf, okay? Next one, number four, please, volunteer for reading. If I don't have volunteers, I'm going to pick randomly. Me, teacher. Thank you, go ahead. David Livingstone was a famous British explorer and he explored parts of Africa. All right, look at this. Explore is the action. Explorer is the noun. Next one, look at this one. My brother likes to blog, okay? Blog is the verb. So he likes to blog about restaurants in our city. So he is? A blogger. A blogger. Now, imagine in this case, guys, well, nowadays, blogger is not so common. What is the name of the new bloggers? Instead of bloggers? Imagine if I say, ah, oh, my brother likes to influence. What is influence. the noun? Influencer. Ah, very good. Now we use influencer. Now pay attention to the spelling, okay? The rule, guys, with the spelling is the same as the adjectives that we learned in the past. If the noun is short, and if it is ending in consonant, vowel, consonant, we double the last consonant, okay? That's why we say blogger 
with the double G. Okay. In the case of gold, I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. Exception. Exception. Yes. It's a exception. In this yeah, case, okay. we, we can call it like an exception. Imagine another example. For example, if I have swing, is short or long? How many syllables do we have in swing? It's short. It's only one syllable is short. Is it ending in consonant, vowel, consonant? Yes, it is. Yes, you need yes. to add an M. Exactly. So I need to double the last consonant and then add ER. In the case of own, owned is short or long? Short. Is short is only one syllable. Do I need to double the last consonant? I don't think so. Why not? I don't know, but uh, it finished with two, with a double uh, consonant. Correct. In this case, guys, owned is not finishing in consonant, vowel, consonant. If you see, it has vowel, consonant, consonant. So in this case, mm -mm, we don't need to double the last one. Okay? So that is the rule with the spelling. So be careful with that. Okay, next one. Our window uh, looks dirty. Let's call, what do you think? A washer. A washer. A washer to call it a washer. Okay, but we don't have washer in these words here. What is the word that we can use? Uh-huh, everyone. I need someone to clean. Cleaner. Cleaner. Ah, cleaner. we need a cleaner. 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 Very good. Okay, I like growing flowers and plants. So maybe I'll learn how to be the person who take care of the flowers. Garden. garden. Okay, garden. Only that? Only garden? Gardener. Gardener. That is the suffix garden. that we need. Garden is the noun, is the place or the garden. verb. But yeah. gardener is the person. Okay? Uh, number eight. Michael Phelps is a famous da, 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 who swam in the 2012 Olympic Games. Swimmer. Ah, very good. Swimmer. Swimmer. Very good. Okay, the last one, please. Volunteer for reading the number nine. Me, teacher. Yes, go ahead. This is my first time to study Spanish. I am... Uh -huh. um, uh, Look at the verbs that we have here. Uh, when you are starting English and you are in the first level, are you expert? Are you intermediate? Or are you basic? Are you beginner or what? What do you think? Beginner. Ah, so look at beginner. the word. I am a? Beginner. Beginner. Okay. So, it, sorry, it's a double N. Okay. I'm a beginner. Okay. If you see, guys, with this word, we have an exception. If you see, begin has two syllables, right? It's not a short word. So basically you can think, hey, but why do we double the letter N? It's just the exception, okay? Beginner breaks the rules of the spelling. Now, if you see everybody, 
These are some of the suffixes that you can use if you want to transform a verb into a noun. Is it clear so far, everybody? Yes, teacher. Yes? Okay. Yes. Any questions just... so far? Okay. I, no. I, uh, example of the the o, o, e, o, R. Oh, yes, we are going to see it. Using the or, or. Yes, there are more suffixes that we can use. For example, the ones that your classmate mentioned, but we are going to see it in the next slides. No worries. Yes. Now, look, look at this one. These are the ones that your classmate mentioned. Again, as I mentioned before, we have different suffixes. We already studied the first one, E-R. So we have teacher, we have swimmer, cleaner, a golfer, baker. So they are ending in E-R. But that is not the only suffix that we can add. If we want to transform verbs into a noun, there are other suffixes that we can use. One of them are Look, I, E, R, or we can use the suffix O, R. Those are one of the most common. And here in your manuals, guys, we have some examples. Imagine I have manufacture. That is the verb. If I want the noun, I need to add, look, Manufacturer, okay. If I have supply, supply is the verb. If I need the noun, we delete the letter Y and look, we add I E R and we say supplier. Distribute, what is the noun for distribute? Pay attention here because we cannot say distributor. No. What is the noun? Look. Distributor. So not always we are going to add ER. Not always we are going to add only the same suffix. These guys, you have to memorize it. Okay, if I have manage, what is the noun of manage? Manager, retail, retailer, wholesale, wholesaler, sell, seller. So unfortunately guys, when we are talking about the suffixes, there is not another option but memorizing them, okay? So we already studied three suffixes, E-R, I-E-R, or O-R. Now, on your platform, uh, there is an exercise. One of your classmates was talking about it. And just in case that you haven't resolved that exercise, we are going to resolve it together. And basically, this is the exercise. Uh, this is on your platform, guys. Let me open up the platform. Look, can you see the platform? Yes? Yes. Okay, this is the exercise 4.9. In case that you haven't finished that exercise, Basically, guys, you need to take these verbs and transform it into a noun. If I have manufacture, what is the noun? Manufacturer. Manufacturer. Okay, if I have supply, let's go back to the box. Which one is the noun for supply? Supplier. Supplier. So you just have to write it, okay? supplier 
Distribute. What is the noun for distribute? Distributor. Distributor. Very good. Manage. Manager. Manager. Retail. Retailer. Retailer. So you just have to write here, guys, the word with the suffix. And basically, that's the way that you can answer this exercise in case that some of you haven't finished. Got it? Yes? Got it. Pretty good. Okay, now look at this exercise. You have to tell me what is the correct word, if I need the verb or if I need the noun. The employees want the manage or the manager to organize the inventory. What do you think? Jim Banash. The manage. 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 Mm -hmm. Are you sure? Yes. So manager. Like, like manager. This? Manager. Or manager. Manager. Hmm. Yes, manager. Manager. Actually, I need manager. Why? Los empleados quieren que quien? Que el manager, right? Organize el inventario. Exactly. So I need the noun manager. Pretty good job. Number two, they distribute or they distributor the product all around the country. Distribute. 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 So the verb distribute. or the noun? The, the verb. verb. The verb. Excellent. Pretty good. Number three, um, do I have a volunteer for the number three, please? Me, teacher. Thank you, go ahead. Inventory counts provide resource to the manufacturer. Manufacturer or manufacturer? What do you think, guys? Manufacturers. 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 Remember, guys, the structure of a sentence. We need subject, verb, complement. I already have this subject over here. I have the verb, and then I have the complement. So, in this case, I need the noun. Number four. Volunteer for reading the number four, please. Need teacher. Thank you. Go ahead. The acquiring of accuracy? the inventory, accuracy. The mm -hmm. accuracy of the inventory can influence the stock recovery by by retail store. Hmm. What do you think, guys? Retail store or retailers store? Retail. Retailer, retailers, retailers. Mm, okay, some of you say retailers, some of you say retail. Final answer? Store, the, no, the noun is in singular. So, can I say retailers? It's a, it's a noun. Uh-huh. What is what is your final answer? Retail store. Retail, retail store. Retail store. Retail, are you sure? Yes. Yes, that is the one. Remember, guys, I'm talking about a store. When we add ER, what I was mentioned before, this is the person who does the action. If I say retailers, it's in plural, store is in singular, store is not a person, retailers is a person, so we cannot combine them. So the correct one is retail store. And the last one, number five, the supply or the supplier need us to keep track of how much product is left. What do you think? Supplier? Supplier, everybody, do you agree? 
I agree. Yes? I agree. I yes, agree. I agree. Totally. You see, I need the subject, supplier, then I need the verb, needs, and then the complement. So this is a way, guys, that we can transform a verb into a noun. What are the suffixes uh, that we already studied? Can you remember the suffixes? We studied three. E-R. E-R, yes. Or. R. Only the letter R in case that is ending in the letter E. Uh -huh. E. Or. E. Or. E, only E. 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 I. R. E. I. R, like this. Yes. Are you sure? And, uh, mm -hmm. and then, no. Uh, uh. I E R. Ah, very good. Like this. Look, yes. These are the suffixes that we already studied. E R, R, O R, or I E R. Is it clear, everybody? So far, so good? Yes, teacher. Yes? Okay, now. Those are not the only ones, okay? We have more suffixes, okay? Look at this. We can create nouns from verbs by adding another very common suffix that is meant or yon. Those are another suffixes that we can use. For example, argue. Argue is the verb. What is the suffix? Look, argue meant. Can you think in another word that is ending in meant? What do you think? Maybe the finish in two vowels. Hmm, but thinking another word. Can you remember another mm. word that is ending in men? Treatment? Treatment? Very good. Treatment. Treat is the verb. If you want the noun, you say treat men. Very good. What else? Can you think in another word that is ending in men? I don't know if it's correct, but empowerment? Yes, empower is the, uh, is the verb. If you need the noun, you just add men. Empowerment, complement environment okay so we can transform a verb into a noun another suffix is the word meant and one of the most common is the suffix yon for example create is the verb what is the noun create Shine. For example, contaminate. Contaminate is the verb. What is the noun? Contamination. Contamination. Can you think Product. of another one? Product. Production. Product. Very good. Product. We have product and the noun will be product. Shine. Shine. Very good. What else? Another At. idea? At. Add, what is the noun? Add, action. 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 Yes. Another one that you think of, that you remember? No? Okay, we're going... Uh -huh. Coordination? Yes. Coordinate. That is the verb. The noun will be coordinate 
Action. Communicate. Communicate mm -hmm. is the verb. What is the noun? Communication. Communication. Excellent. Now, let's have a practice and we are going to use, guys, all of these suffixes. But before that, I'm going to check attendance. So when you listen to your names, please say present. Anna Lorena? Present teacher. Very good. Boris Alexander? Present teacher. Very good. Um, Carlos Alberto? Okay. Carlos Ernesto? Present teacher. Very good. Edwin Antonio? Okay. Uh, Elias Neftali? Present. Very good. Eulice Torres. Oh, his listener. Um, Jose Salvador. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Josman Atilio. Okay. Um, Kevin Alfredo. Kevin? No? Okay. Eh, Nelson Alberto. Present. Very good. Osman Enrique. Okay. Pamela Carolina. Okay. Rafael Alexander. Present. Thank you. En um, Santiago Roberto. En Wilber Alberto. Present. Very good. Excellent. Okay. Yes. Sorry, Cosman, I have problem the con the connection. Yes, it's no worries. I already had your your attendance. No worries. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, guys, let's have uh, an exercise. Um, I think that the time is very short, so let's see if we can complete it. I have here some verbs. And I want you guys to transform these verbs into nouns. So you have to decide what will be the correct um, suffix, okay? In this moment, we are going to try to use yon and mend, okay? So for example, uh, can you see the exercise? Yes? Yes, teacher. Yeah. Excellent. Uh, let's try to do it bigger. Let's see. Okay. Advertise. Advertise is the verb. What will be the noun? Advertising. 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 Advertisement. Or advertisement. What do you advertisement. think? Advertisement. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Advertisement, that is the noun. So guys, every new word, write it down. This is vocabulary. Okay, then I have suggest. So if suggest is the verb, hmm, what is the noun? Suggestion. Ah, very good. Suggestion. We cannot say suggest. Man, mm -mm. suggestion. Okay, enjoy. Enjoy is the verb. What do you think? What is the noun? Can I say enjoy on or enjoyment? Maybe enjoyment. Ah, very good. That is the one. We are going to say enjoyment. Oops, like this. So think about the translation. What is the meaning of enjoy, the verb enjoy? Disfrutar. 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 Okay. What is the translation of enjoyment? Because enjoyment is the noun. What will be that? El voy a disfrutar. I don't know. Mm, disfruta is, is a verb. Mm. In this case, guys, enjoy is a verb. Disfrutar, right? 
Enjoyment is the noun. In this case, we can translate it as a diversión. Mm -hmm. Diversión, regocijo, right? Those are the different translation. Look at the difference, okay? Then I have argue. What is the noun? Argument. Very good. Argument. Pretty nice. So argue is like what is the noun? What is the translation of argue? Argumento. But is the verb? Argumentar. Yes, exactly. Like argumentar, alegar. So what is the translation of argument? Argumentando. Mm, no, because it's not a verb, it's a noun. I have to say like, I have many arguments. So, Argumento. Yes, exactly. So, argue, argumentar. El noun, argumento. Can you see the difference in the translation, guys? Yes, between the verbs and the nouns. Okay? Next one. Excite. What is the noun? Excitement. Yes, very good. We are going to say excitement. Excellent. Develop. Develop. What is the noun? Development. Very develop. good. Okay. Develop. What is the translation of develop? Desarrollo. But the verb? Desarrollo. Exactly. The noun is? Desarrollo. Desarrollo. Exactly. Pretty good. Okay. Compete. What is the noun? Competition. Competition. If you see, guys, in this verb, we need to be careful, right? Because we have something else. We don't say competition. No, we say competition. So it's a little modification. Educate. Education. Ah, very good. Education. And the last one, inform. What do you think? Information or informant? Information. Correct. Information. So look. These are the different ways that we can add different suffixes to transform a verb into a noun. Let's have the last practice. I have here different sentences. You have to tell me what will be the correct word. We have just one minute for this activity. Look at this one. Most people think that, uh, well, let me do it it's smaller. Most people think that ta, 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 is very important in the modern world. What do you think? Advertisement, education, equipment, excitement, information, possession. What is the correct word to complete this sentence? What do you think? Mm -hmm. Any idea? Maybe education. Education. What do you think, guys? Most people think that education is very important in the modern world. Do you agree? I guess. Well, it sounds good, actually. Now, what about the number two? Where can I get some ta 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 ta? about trains to Scotland. Information. Information. Ah, very good. What about the next one? Our school has a lot of computers. Equipment. Equipment, sounds good. Uh-huh. 
I don't like watching ta, 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 on TV. They are so boring. Advertisement. Advertisement. Correct. Okay, next. My brother's favorite ta, 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 is his MP3 player. What do you Possession. think? Possession. <laughs> Possession? Okay, my brother's favorite possession. Yes, sounds good. And the last one, we finish with this. There was a lot of ta 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 ta, -ta in the crowd when the football tree team won. Excitement. 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 Very good job. So look, guys, we are using nouns and birds you just have to memorize the different suffixes that we have any questions so far about how to use suffixes questions no no questions no. okay remember that on monday guys we are going to have classes so on monday we are going to have like a quick review about this topic to see if you remember well, if you don't have questions, guys, thank you so much for made the effort good. to be here and have a good night. Enjoy your Sunday and see you on Monday. Goodbye. Good night. Thank you. Bye bye. Good night. See ya. Bye.